in the near future when we are able to install a plant you know this is the change over generally to be able to change power from in them between the two um, power supplies as you can see these are the electrical components this is this, you can see this um it's a three phase right so they are going to place three bulbs be able to tell if a phase is off or on um this metals that has been buried here they are the etin they call them the etin what you're seeing here is the outside is the is this is where actually we are going to connect with the you know with the light with 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 the with the grid right hello guys you are welcome to the channel once again and so if you have been following this journey you know we have come a long way and um, in the previous journey in the previous video what we said was that the next video which is this one you're going to see the electrical wiring and this is what we are showing you today today we came to do electrical wiring okay and in a minute we'll be going to we'll be taking a little tour at uh, the electrical wiring and the few components that were involved um, that were adopted in the wiring but before then let me take the opportunity to acknowledge Antimansa Enterprise actually this video was brought to you by Antimansa Enterprise Antimansa Enterprise actually deals in building materials quality foreign paints cement roofing sheets and then any other thing that has to do with building you can get your materials from Antimansa Enterprise they are in Tachimai of the Kumasi Road, Tachimai Kumasi Road, the the ID College, just behind, just close to the ID College. That's where they are. So even if you are outside Ghana and you have a project in Tachimai or the surroundings of Tachimai, and then you want a very trustworthy person or entity to take care of your material supplies, just take the number under you know your screens and then give them a call. We can vouch for them actually so let's get into it so as you can see this is the changeover and then the station this is the main switch and it's also serve as the changeover okay so with this you can change the power supply to the grid either to the grid or to the to any plant if you have installed any plant if when we install a plant in the near future when we are able to install a plant you know this is the changeover generally to be able to change power from you know between them between the two um, power supplies as you can see these are the electrical components i mean i've told you before as, as for electrical um, technicalities i'm not good at it so i mean I, i'm just showing you this as much as i can this is this, you can see this um it's a three phase right so they are going to place three bulbs or yes place three bulbs to be able to tell if a phase is off or on please those electrical people let's talk down there in the description um in the comment section let's let's talk the electrical people and tell us what these things mean okay so um and then there was this wiring two um, electrical um, lighting fixtures two of them for the for this for this part of the um, structure right this part as we all know is the machine room this is where the machine is going to be installed okay so we have that and then we have a socket because they are, we are going to um, um, sew the the maze right when we package it we should be able to sew it to make it um, very nice so we need a socket and you know people are going to use socket for their personal stuff charging phones and stuff i mean the workers will be so basically that's what um that's why i'm saying we need we needed this one too and then there's one i think he they have to come back and then give us another one maybe um tomorrow or any other day so that's basically the wiring parts that we did today the wiring works that we did today actually we didn't extend it to the storage part because 
the place is not covered as you can see you don't want people to come on you know take our wires All right so um the, the 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 wiring wasn't extended here to this place to the storage place so it was basically for the machine room as you can see yes so i think that one is finished we are waiting for electricity company of ghana to to come and inspect and then give us our meter right i i, I learned that one is a whole wahala which we will talk about another another time but today was for wiring wiring and let me get let me just touch on the floors i think it is now drying up yes the floor is now drying up it has been two days since we filled this place and watered it the, the the main purpose for the watering is so that the place the the floor will be very compact so that when we when we um when we do the concrete work it will be very compact and strong actually in the next video i'm very sure in the next video we'll be talking about the concrete work you know if you if you cast here the place will look very nice and then we'll talk about that one in the next video okay so just like that so we are not making this actually we are not making <laughs> i'm trying my, my best not to make this video any longer we'll go back there and then see where the um the eighteen, the eighteen wires were connected and then where the service wire is going to be connected we'll go out at the back there and then show you let me just take you to the back there real quick Yeah, so as you can see, this is where it comes, the outlet, this is where it comes. This is where the 18, no, this is where the service wire will be connected from here to the pole. As you can see, it's not too far, right, the, the pole. I actually decided that it is stationed here, not any other part of the structure, just for proximity, so that it will be close and then we will not spend a lot on these things again. Okay, and then I think this, what you're seeing here is the outside, is the, is, this is where actually we are going to connect with the, you know, with the light, with, 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 the, with the grid, right? I think this is called service something, <laughs> I don't really know the technicalities. This is a, a service line, they are going to connect the service line with, with, with this part, this part of the wiring. Yeah. I think we will have to get a very big light here, you know, to be able to brighten the place. Okay, so, and then these are the 18, you know, these are the 18 poles, they, they, they are four. I don't know the rationale behind the four, but maybe it is likely to be because it is a three phase. The, the electrical people, please, if I'm wrong, correct me and let's um, educate each other. So that's what I'm thinking, but if I'm wrong, please correct me. Okay. So yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you for liking it. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for sharing. Okay, so this, this is what we have, we have for you today. Um, please, if you are new to this journey, you are not too late. There are still videos. The videos are still there you can go back and watch them and then catch up with us um, as we learn how to build the or the process of building a maze drying factory right okay so um thank you very much for being with me until we meet in the next video it's bye bye for now peace out